This part will explain how you find out standard deviations and how you read the data in SPSS 16. When you have the data like this, just block the data, then copy, and now you can open SPSS 16 or other versions, then paste the data in your SPSS. Now you got four columns, then what you have to do, move those data into one column. Just block the data, cut, and paste to the first column. Do it till all of the data move to the first column. When all of your data have already moved to the first column, as usual, you can try to rename your first column. Find out variable view in your lower left of your screen. Then double click in the first line and type the name. You may also change the decimal into zero and go back to data view. Just follow the steps to find out standard deviations value and also how you analyze the result. Click Analyze in the upper taskbar. Then Descriptive Statistics and choose Descriptive. After you choose Descriptive, you will see this view screen. And now you will move Nilai to the variable box. Just click Nilai and click this arrow. After it has moved, then click Option. When you see another view screen like this, there are a lot of choices, but you only choose mean, standard deviations, maximum, minimum criticism and skewness then click continue you will go back to this view screen and click ok you got the result like this you have 75 as mean standard deviations value 13.504 the skewness value minus 0.708 and the courtesy's value plus 0.999 and now we analyze the result we have three considerations with alpha 0.05 first if the z skewness less than minus 1.96 it's going to be positive if the z skewness more than plus 1.96 it's going to be negative and the last one if the z skewness between minus 1.96 and plus 1.96 it's going to be normal or we can say that the curve is symmetrical 
z squareness is from the square root of z squareness, which is minus 0 0.708 divided by 6 divided by number of the data, which is 52. And here you got the result of z squareness, which is minus 2.48. It means z squareness is less than minus 1.96. You can interpret that the curve is positive. Now we're going to analyze the Curtis's value with alpha 0.05. We have three considerations. First, if the Z Curtis is less than minus 1.96, it calls leptocurtic. If the Z Curtis is more than 1.96 it calls platycurtic if the z curtis is between minus 1.96 and plus 1.96 it calls mesocurtic here you count z curtises z curtises is from the square root of curtis's value which is 0 0.999 divided by 24 divided by the number of the data, which is 52. You got the result of Z cortices is 1.47. It means Z cortices is between plus 1.96 and minus 1.96. And the curve is mesocortic. I'll show you a histogram that illustrates the standard deviations analysis. You can see in the histogram, it has positive and mesocortic curves. If you forget how to make this histogram, check the link in the description box.